Hey, every blobby. We're going to start out like we did last time by reading the manual. <clears throat> what secrets will it tell us? Oh, wow, it got the Nintendo seal of quality. Please carefully read the Consumer Information and Precautions booklet included with this product before using your Nintendo registered trademark hardware system, game pack, or accessory. Do not subject your game pack to extreme temperatures. Like the Mega Man, like the Mega Man, come in Mega Man. Dr. Wowie has broken into the Quonos Institute and stolen the experimental time skimmer. We tried tracking him on the radar, but he simply vanished. My calculations show that he jumped approximately 30... 30... 37... 4... 426. Is, is that a decimal point, or is that... Uh, a comma? Because, see, that's a, that's a big difference. Like, are, are we talking just 37 years? Is that, that's not as much as, that's not as much as 37,426. I have no idea what he plans to do, but you can sure that he'll be back. Your, but your can be sure that he'll be back. In the meantime, Wash has sniffed out a few of Wily's robots guarding a subterranean passage. Get over there and check it out. And remember, it's careful down there. Or, let's be careful down there. It, it's careful. I'm sorry, you know me, I'm talking over myself right now. Light out. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong... Yeah, there we go. Air beneath the earth. Lurking at the entrance to the underground cavern are four of Dr. Wily's most fiendish robots. Fe it, God, talking over yourself so hard. Let me turn this off till I get the game actually going. Each of these angry androids has surrounded itself with a web of tin-plated terrors who want to mangle Mega Man. They, they really... <laughs> they really just get... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's 90s. It's very 90s, this writing, is what I'm trying to say. Once you arrive, it's going to be a cybernetic showdown, and only one of you will survive. Launch a barrage of lethal lasers and keep on pounding the robot master until he's a mound of mo molten metal. Then grab his weapon and get ready for the next steel stomping cyborg. Or, I guess, it, I guess late 80s, maybe. As you annihilate Dr. Wily's raucous robots, I've never heard anyone use that word ever. You will gain their special weapons and add them to your own arsenal. And yeah, yeah, we know we know about that. Raukow's robots. Uh Mega Man's best friend. Every dog has his day, and Rush is no exception. There's the robot masters over there. I thought it would talk about uh, a certain something, but it did not, apparently. I remember the word Raukus from an old Freddie Mercury interview, actually. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already dissipating into nothingness, apparently. Anyway, let's, let me check my volume. What did I have it set for Wily's Revenge? Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't write it down. Because this is the next game. 
negative 9.5. Let me just write that down real quick, just to make sure. Yeah. I expect that Mega Man 2 will be about the same, but you never know. Have it louder? Why was it not loud enough last time? I thought it was pretty good. So I got this ROM from the virtual console. Oh, joking because music. Yeah, quick warning. Uh, soundtrack. I'll talk more about it in a second. So check, checking volume, test, test. I think I'll turn it down just a little bit. All right, test, testing, testing. Hello, check, check. Maybe a little more. Check, check. Hello. Test. Check, check. Burrito. That's probably good. Well, actually I'll do it. I'll do it to 12. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Oh, no, wrong thing. Click the wrong thing. Honestly, I would say the soundtrack Compositionally, the soundtrack's not bad. Like, this is... Like, compositionally, this is a good song. It's just, for some reason, everything is, like, an octave higher than it needs to be. And the, also, the drums are a little weird. So we got our choice of four. I always go for Metal Man first in the NES Mega Man 2, so I don't think this should be any different. So I can slide now. He's kind of got this weird little scrunch sprite, you know? They will smooth that out over time. And immediately we gotta <laughs> fall into some spikes. soundtrack is straight up glitched. Yeah, I feel like I remember... I feel like I remember hearing that, that whoever was programming in the sound code or whatever uh, messed up, so things are just... Everything's just an octave higher than it should be. Well, maybe not everything, because like you said, some of them are off, off key. Anyway, here's some flickering smashers. One of X3 songs was also glitched. That's true, yeah. Oh, hey, it's these things again. Did you miss them? I sure did. Ow. So, yeah, I think they went with a different development studio for this one. And they probably should not have done that. And they went back to the original for Mega Man 3, I believe. I mean, it's probably not, like, 
you know, it's not super bad, but, you know, there's a bit of jank to it. You know, like, you, you can kind of see with Mega Man's physics, the, the way he jumps is a little weird. I mean, not necessarily to the player's detriment, but it just, it feels a little artificial. Landing sound effect is still not right. <laughs> But yeah, if you, the, a bunch of people have done covers of this music, where it sounds a whole. I cannot. I cannot get that. By the way, where it sounds a whole lot better, and I would encourage you to look that up if you never have. You know, Rush Jet did some, and there's a guy who I, I think his name is pronounced T P Cool, who did covers of it that are a bit closer to how it would sound on Game Boy. And I was planning on using one of his covers of this game's music for a splash screen for Mega Man March Madness Monday that I keep forgetting to use. <laughs> I keep forgetting to put it up on screen. Maybe for Mega Man 3. Also, the doors are still weird. Not even, like, screen boundary. It's, I, don't, I don't get it. Anyway, here's Metal Man. You remember Metal Man. He's a bit harder to fight because because of the cramped real estate in this room, but not by a whole lot. And just like in Mega Man 2 NES, we're going to want his weapon. There's a cover of Metal, Metal Man's GB theme I used to listen to, and now I can't find it in good quality anymore. Oh, that sucks. I hate- I hate when that happens. Look, Rush. It's Dustin. I- I can't wave. I can't wave well. Time is- time is in flux. Time and space. But yeah, I hate- I hate when there's something you really enjoyed on the internet, especially music. And- and then it's just gone. Okay, this song's actually tight. Like, I- I gotta be real with you. I like Woodman's theme. Same goes for old YouTube poops. Yep. Honestly, this song I don't think suffered that bad. Like, it, it's- it's still listenable. The percussion is just completely wacky, though. It's just like, some dude's on the drums going... Would you say it's nice? I- I hate that meme with a passion. So no, I wouldn't. I'm just gonna ignore those guys. I mean, honestly, it's mostly just because it's, it's a very lazy meme. I think I've talked about it before. It's just like, okay, people, on anything related to Woodman, people do the word nice, they put the word nice, and like a little smiley face with a square grin, that's the meme. There's no variation, there's no... There's no passion. There's no passion in the meme. My god, when did you lose your passion? Yeah, honestly, the weirdly artificial jump arc kind of works in your favor. Also, the game doesn't pause when you collect health, which, you know, it, it could be better, could be worse. You know, it depends on how you view things. Why are there two big hells right in a row? Do things hurt less in this game? Uh, you mean compared to the first Game Boy game, or compared to the NES game, or what? 
Either way, I have no idea. Yeah, compared to the first Game Boy game. It's possible. I don't know, maybe they got- maybe they got complaints that that one was too hard or something. The rabbit robots that throw the- man, that's something to say, ain't it? Rabbit robot. That throw the carrots at you, those always were like, really weird. Lightly scrunched woodman sprite. Okay. Let's see if I can kill Woodman with just my buster. Well, if he just stands there for three consecutive years, then yeah. I don't think I'll have much of a problem. <laughs> Maybe that's to make up for the lack of real estate, because like... Once Woodman gets over in your corner, it's kind of- it's kind of hard to deal with him. You kind of gotta run to the other side or something. But you don't want to do that too soon, because then he'll just, you know, go the other side again. You could probably kill him by shooting inside the shield in little time. You know, actually, yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so Airman's the next in this weakness chain. The Void. I love the little, like, tiny version of the... Of the t what would you call this? The, the heads, you know. I don't know, I'm sure it's like some kind of Japanese culture thing. But, as you can tell, I am American, And thus, I am ignorant of such things. Except maybe the Tengu. I know about- Well, okay, I know about the Tengu, and I know about Kappa. I don't know, maybe I know more than most. They're called air tikis or goblins, depending on the manual. Alright. I see. I don't- I hate when they do this, because I'm like... Are the developers gonna be jerks enough to put a pit behind the clouds? You never know. You know, I should probably show- at least show off the special weapons. I mean, you sort of know what they're gonna be. Oh, I got Rush Marine, that's right. So... Leaf Shield. You know, about the same. Metal Blade. No sound effect for Metal Blade. It was not in the budget. Oh, hey, it's that guy. He's back for the... <laughs> He's for the actual, <laughs> actual stage he's from. And, you know, it's, it's about the same as the NES. You know, you got a ton of ammo for this. They used the throwing spy sprite for the wrong weapon. <laughs> cool, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mega Man 2 Game Boy devs. It's a little annoying to have to specify Game Boy. I'll be real with you. Some people distinguish it by using Roman numerals for the Game Boy games and actual numbers for the, you know, the uh, NES games. But that's a little confusing, I think. Because it requires people to be, you know, in the know on that. Like, it's not a name you can just... What was that? It's not a name you can just see and immediately understand. Now, in Japan, as I mentioned before, it, the game's called Rockman World, which I think is a much better title than just the same other title. Oh, you gotta go down this way? Hmm. The navigate. see? See? The pit. There's probably like an E-tank at the end of that that I have now missed out on. Oh, no. It's just like, 
maybe to teach you that- Oh, no, never mind, the level's over. I was gonna say it would be to teach you that there could be pits, but it, that's not relevant anymore. Alright, Airman. Can I defeat Airman? I have heard it is quite a tricky thing to do. Yes, I can do it. You know, I should have tried to fight him with just the buster. I'm kind of inconsistent on that. Having a slide against Airman sure helps. Yeah, given some of the patterns he gives you in the original game, you, you would think he was designed as a Mega Man 3 boss. You got Air Shooter and Rush Jet. When I first played this, I thought the Tiki at the boss door could fall down on you Thwomp style. Well, hey, if they make another I Wanna Be The Guy game, there, there's an idea. Flash Man! This is going pretty smoothly so far, all things considered. Okay, I'm gonna call into question that hitbox, but whatever. Ah, uh, tiny baby, tiny baby platform. I love this part. Dun -dun 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 -dun. See, that's what that's what I mean. If it wasn't if the soundtrack wasn't so screechy, these are these are honestly good songs. It's like I said, it's like Sonic 4. Where the the only problem I really have with the soundtrack is the wow wow you know, instruments. I am I am getting my butt kicked in. Both cheeks have regressed. Oh, the mountain. I I don't know how to not get hit by that. I'm in trouble. I am in a precarious position. Oh, never mind. I like to use leaf shield on those platforms. <laughs> hmm. Can I get that with Rush Jet? Rush, can you help me? Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, this is the super overpowered Rush Jet. You know, the kind that you can just move in any and all directions. Ow! Erections. But Philip, honey, I'm not having any. Okay, these are some little bit spicy jumps. I don't know why he was firing to the right there. I was holding left. You gotta believe me. Oh no, it's the Boyd. Oh yeah, remember this? Oh, well, no, it's not that at all. Pick a path. Except you, when you see the wrong path, you can go back and take the right path. I <laughs> love the freaking DOS sound effect for collecting an E-Tank. <laughs> Something you'd hear in Commander Keen, honestly. Why am I- why am I just sitting here and taking it? Oh. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try and beat him with just the buster. And then if I- if I lose lives, then I'll- I'll use his actual weakness. Okay, his projectile is honestly very slow- oh. Okay, I'm not doing well so far. Yeah, Crash Man, or sorry, Clash Man does the thing where he jumps when you shoot. Oh, crap. Can you destroy... 
Can you destroy the shot men with one leaf shield like an NES? Uh, well, if we see another one, I'll have to give it a try, but I'm not sure at the moment. Clashmen, please. Yeah, this boss is, is not difficult. Very sluggish movement. I mean, granted, Crash Man isn't that difficult on NES either. At least once you get him down. Like, that's the thing about a lot of Mega Man bosses. Once you get him down, you know, once you rise, like, oh, this is what he's doing. Oh no, it's Wily's cave. The walls are shifting once again. And Mega Man's just kind of standing there. Oh, I'm not controlling him. This is a cutscene. Gonna fall in the one tile gap. Oh, these are, he's just right there. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh, it was a trap. It was a trap. Okay, now we're in the teleporter room. I guess we can go in, you know, order. Oh, this song got hit hard by the instrument. Oh, hey, that's a phenomenally easy to get E. Yeah, so this is hard, man. He's back, and this time he's harder than ever. No sound effect for those things. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Oh, er, that guy got me. He got me good. Yeah, see, this is the sweet spot right here. I don't know, do I want to go down this way? Oh, there's an extra life. You know, that's cool to have. Monkey! Why is Monkey here? You're from, like, Woodman stage. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why do you take so many hits? Nah, I'm leaving. Oh. No, they were in hard man stage two. You know what, now that you mention that, you're right. All right, monkey, I apologize. It was I who was in the wrong. I have no idea what's going on with the background here. Like a maze on the back of a cereal box. You know, I think this is the only one until like Mega Man 5 that has uh, an entirely original soundtrack. And I mean that one has entirely original robot masters. So I'm not sure what they why they decided to make one for this game. Oh well. I suppose it is what it is. Uh-uh. You don't want to be backed into a corner like this. Oh, no. Accidentally made the red happen. You never want to do that. <laughs> Gotta get my sniffing tool ready in a sec.
There it was. Did you get it? Okay, I guess we'll just go, you know, top, left, right, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, the buzzing blocks are back. Still half a block high, as always. Okay, that, that is nasty. Wait, you know, actually, I just remembered something. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, Rush. Let me use the correct form of transport. I'm going to ignore you. Oh, hey, it's the big old tabby. Don't know what that thing has to do with tops, but, you know. I mean, I guess if you put a top in front of a cat, it might want to play with it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mario sound effect. Top cat, <laughs> I suppose. Okay, that makes up for my life deficit. I mean, I could skip the cat, but who knows what treasures lie behind it. Oh. I mean, I guess this guy would fill it with tops? I don't know. I mean, I could be using my weapons here. I could be. Oh, no! I mean, I'm more okay with this than the buzzing blocks, because at least these things aren't randomly dropping me into a pit. Yeah, you know, you know what? Please eat some dye. Could you not cut off my internet for five minutes? You know. I wonder if there's a limit on four E's. Maybe I should be using these. There we go. That's a lot better. It's Topman! Oh crap, jumped way too early, but it doesn't even matter. It truly does not even matter.
Honestly, the shading on Mega Man's nose here kind of bothers me. It looks like he has a dog nose. The fusion with Rush has not been a pretty sight. Let's see, can we kill anything with this? Well, not here. These jumps are a little stanky. You know what, let, let's see, I got four E's. Yeah, four is the limit. Well, I mean, what can I say? I haven't needed one yet. Little tiny missile. Tiny baby missile. Indestructible tiny baby missile. You could destroy the missiles with these guys originally. Wily must have improved the design. Oh, it's these things. It's the walking legs. <laughs> Very tight corridor. Okay, that doesn't quite work. Yeah, this, this guy is a nuisance. No! <laughs> Why did you let me do that? Please walk into the ledge and die. I would appreciate that a lot. I don't want to go back up. Okay, I have an idea. How about we don't? How about I just pretend I did this? What? <laughs> I was in the stun pose while climbing. That was pretty good. Okay, so since I have maximum E, let me just use it, get what I can out of it. Refill Rush Jet, because why not? Ow. Okay, do I...
Oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well. First game over. Bound to happen eventually, I guess. We're gonna do it again. I don't- I don't need any more E. <laughs> I am full up on E. Don't worry, you've only been streaming for seven minutes. Yeah, it feels like it. Though, I mean, I'd prefer that over... Mega Man 1 Game Boys, like... Okay, here's two Wily stages, and they're both eight hours long. Have fun. That being said, the game's not over yet. Oh, yes, please. I, I, can I have that? Thank you. Thank you. Again, let's just let's just don't do this and say say that we did. You know, people come over. We're like, yeah, we did we did this we did this puzzle. We did the platforming challenge in Magnet Man stage. It was great. It was a great time. Fun was had by all. I'm pooped. Oh, but we'll all know the truth, and it will haunt us until our dying breath. Okay, we're already back. It, it really, it really wasn't much of an ordeal. This game is quite kind. Yeah, so far this might be this might be the Mega Man Five of the Game Boy Mega Man. You know, not counting Mega Man Five for the Game Boy. beat this guy with just the buster. I know I can do it. I mean, so far he's got the hardest to dodge attack. He's definitely easier on NES, though, because you got more room to move around. At least I think. I don't know. It's been a while since... Well, actually, no, it hasn't. I... <laughs> I was gonna say it's been a while since I played Mega Man 3 on NES, but I technically played Wily Wards again recently because I got the, the retro bit cart. Yeah, you just you wanna be on the far side. The thing is though, can you get an opportunity to hit him? Maybe maybe sliding is more trouble than it's worth right now. He is not doing that other attack at all right now. You know, the one where he starts ringing like an alarm clock? There we go. So, only one boss so far that I have not beaten with the buster, and that's just because I forgot. That's the only reason. He's getting my power! Alright, last one. Yeah, so... It's interesting how in this one they get full stages. You know, Mega Man 1, you just, nope, nope, you just fought, you know, you just fought the bosses. But in this one, you know, Needle Man gets his own stage. And I almost never go Buster only because I don't like the boss music and want it to be over. 
Yeah, it's probably one of the more grating songs in the soundtrack. Oh, God. Eh. Eye is itchy. The fact that your eye can get itchy is kind of just a cruel joke, isn't it? Oh, I was going over there to get the health, but now I'm not. Now I'm not going to do that. Oh, hey, is this our, is this our, like, first or second mandatory rush coil? Or at least it sure looked mandatory. Like I said, there's so there's so many E's that I am not making proper use of. Cause I'm I'm already at the Mac. So I mean I might as well just use it and then get this one. Did I get a life? I think I got a life. I didn't even see it happen. Man, it really it really takes some finesse to be able to cha to change your slide direction mid slide. Like like look at this. I can't do that. Then again, I'm not very good at sliding to begin with. What is what is Doctor Light coding this guy in? A red mega a white mega man. Before you go out, let me apply the regular bottle treatment. Thanks, Dr. Light. Oh no, it's the Needles. You know, that's, that's my favorite band. They sang my favorite song, A Hard Night's Day. All right, there we go. Also, Mega Man, Mega Man's got quite the tan in this game, doesn't he? Well, not here. Here he is, is pale as something that is very pale. The moon? I don't know. I started that as an analogy, but I had nowhere to go with it. All right, there's a hole in the floor now. I don't know if you spotted it. Whoa, who is this dapper gentleman? Ow! I don't know if they ever explain in game who this guy is, but if they don't, then I will. I will explain it. Knack the weasel. So yeah, this is Quint. He's riding on Sakugarne, which is like a <laughs> glorified jackhammer. But it has eyeballs because this is Mega Man. It has googly eyes on it. You got Quint, Quint item, Sakugarne. Oh no, he's going to space again! Didn't he learn the first time? But don't worry, I'm following right behind him. <laughs> oh no! Dr. Dali! Alright, Mega Man, it's time for the big sleep!
I don't know what the what the deal is with here. I mean, you can get an E. I got what? Wily, dude. Fire your interior decorator. Holy crap. Your architect, whoever. And yeah, I, I don't think they're gonna say who Quint was, so as, as Getty pointed out, Quint is Mega Man from the future, allegedly. Who was captured and turned evil by Dr. Wily, so yeah, that's a bit of an existential crisis for you. I thought the a big reason I uh, read the manual this time is because I thought they were going to explain that in the manual, but no, they just apparently you just got to seek out this information on your own. All right, time for Rush Marine. We underwater dog, dog with the water on him. All right, Rush, you've done a good job today. Monkey. Ow, ow. If I recall correctly, it was only confirmed in the U.S. through Mega Man and... in Mega Man and Base through the CD data. You know, like how Mega Man tells you Shadow Man came from space. Yeah, that's... Bit of a drop. Uh, <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm, I'm starting to think for these old games, I, I might start by reading the manual from now on. Because there's a, there's a lot of information they just expect you to get from there. Of course, it might just spoil the entire game, who knows. Either way, though, I, I, I do like the Salvador Dolly clocks in the background. That, that is pretty neat. A little, a little abstract, but, you know, if you're going to get across the notion of Dr. Dr. Wily's been fiddling with time again. Mega Man 3 tells you Shadow Man came from space and Wily reformed and is working with Dr. Wily. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mega Man 3. The entire plot is only, <laughs> is only divulged to you in the manual. So I definitely should have read that when I did the when I did the Wily Wars stream all those years ago. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> Doctor Wily, you're looking a little different. The time the time travel has shrunk you. You're right in the chicken legs. <laughs> Mini me. Th there is a hack of Mega Man 3 that adds like an introductory cutscene, and it's, it, it's pretty well done. You know, they sync it up with the title screen music, which already kind of sounds like a prologue theme, if I can be honest with you. Ow. I keep forgetting about the little mice he shoots out. You know, that that one weapon from, like, Mega Man X5. Okay, now he's... now he's in the copter. Oh, he's going over here. Mega Man 3 is probably my favorite of the first three games. Though, I, I won't lie and say that there there was not room for improvement. Because they're very much what... Oh. Oh no, Dr. Wily's been sunburnt over there. Oh, oh, I'm shooting at the skull. No, no, I'm not shooting at the skull. Three is my favorite, too. Though, I mean, honestly, after playing through a lot of them, four and five 
are, are noted improvements as well, I think. I don't know. It, it's it's hard it's hard for me to pick a favorite. Uh, okay, I'm I'm just I'm goofing the whole thing up right now. I I really like Mega Man Four and Five. But but, uh, but honestly, the classic series I, I don't think you can go wrong very often. Like, I don't think there's any game that's outright bad. Like, they're all just varying levels of good. Ow, I, I am really bad at dodging that. I don't know, I might start using E-Tanks if I can't get through this, but honestly, this is a very easy Wily machine so far, so... I don't know, I like to think I could get through it without using any. Oh, oh, that guy tries to track you. So you, you you can lure him up and then... Where where am I hitting to do damage? Honestly, I, I even like Mega Man and Base quite a bit, and I know that's one of the contentious ones. We'll get to that. We will get to that. Don't you worry. Maybe not. Maybe not this month. I don't know. I I said there's a chance I would do Mega Man and oh no that's that's bad. There's a chance I would do Mega Man and Base this month, but I like I I am reiterating that it's just a possibility. I am promising nothing. Okay, that was that was a really bad attempt. I can't believe I dodged that, honestly. Hmm, what do I want to do about that? I like seven and eight too. Yeah, me too. Although Seven's boss, Seven's final boss is pure CBT. Which would make me a little wary to revisit it. Ow. Ow. Why am I so bad at that? Like, I know he does that. I just need to, I need to have some freaking patience. That's what I need. Okay, I tried to slide there. <laughs> that did not work out. Oh, what? Why did it why did it explode that time? Maybe I want to slide under it. No, that doesn't work. I'm not sure what you want to do about that. You can use Thunderbolt to prevent him from sending out the orbs. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I knew that. Is it just me, or is Dr. Wily getting lamer? Okay, is that the end of the game? Oh wait, what am I getting? Oh, okay, I think that is the end. Well, that only took one hour. Dr. Wily, how how did you survive that? Have a sube. Just 
should be. Wah, one on. Hammer Joe. Monkey. Oh, oh, cut, cut the key. No, no, I wanted to read that. Mythal. Mecha Caro. Magfly. Springer. The G stands for Jerry. Patriarchy. New Shotman. Wasn't that a character in Death Stranding? Yumbo. <laughs> the beginning of the credits theme sounds pretty ominous. That it does. Harry Harry. Who die? Wily die. We established that. Tally. The one of the only ones I can remember. Pee pee. Shotman. I didn't get to test the leaf shield on him. Fly boy. <laughs> Fly boy. Springer. Yerobot. Yeah, we know what that one's called. Again, ju just a drill. It's literally just a drill bit. <laughs> Rob it. Cook. Don't you mean cock? Baton. Pooty Goblin. Yeah, that guy's Pooty Goblin. <laughs> Quirm. Mata Saburo. Kaminari Goro. Clashman. Metalman. Woodman. Airman. Hardman. Topman. Magnetman. Magnetman. Knee Deleman. Quint. But who is this Quint? I miss the cute headshots from the first Game Boy Games credits. Yeah, it was a bit it was a bit more charming. And now I'm just going to fly into space. Presumably forever. The end. No wait. Thank me for playing! Presented by no one. This game just manifested one day. Oh, it, oh, it's by Capcom. Capcom register trademark.
Mega Man just staring at the logo like, wow, those guys are cool. I'm sure they would never stop making games about me for a long period of time. They really should be thanking people for playing this. Honestly, eh, gonna get, game's not too bad. It, it's definitely a bit of a step down, I think, from Dr. Wily's Revenge, but... Like I said, 3 is about the point where they start being quite competent, honestly. I mean, maybe 3 is one of the more derivative Game Boy titles. You know, it doesn't take as many liberties as these two, but... You know, it's, it's the one where it starts feeling like the NES Mega Man, Mega Man games. But either way, that'll, that will be next time. I, I could play something else because that was only an hour, but... Honestly, the only two things I can think of are Spelunky... Which, I'm just... I don't know, I don't really feel like it right now. Like, if I, if I, if I can be totally honest with you, I just don't... I just kind of just don't feel like it. And... Uh, Tomodachi Life, which w it would probably be far too late to actually do anything in, so I'll, I'll probably just end it there. Sorry, I, you know, I, I don't like to... I don't like to make it a super short stream, but setting up something else is just kind of a pain in the butt, you know? And I don't got any idea, so... See ya! Where's my mouse? Oh, here it is.